everyone, here's the mini book I made last night using some bathroom tissue rolls. I got this idea from my Stampin' Up! upline. When she showed me hers, I instantly fell in love with it, and it's such an awesome idea. So last night I made myself one. I saved a bunch of these bathroom tissue rolls, and here I made it with four of them, one for each of my girls. And here I used the Tim Holtz D-ring. I love these rings. These are perfect for mini books. And I basically sprayed the rolls with some um, acrylic paint and then sprayed over with some glimmer mist. So this is the mini book right here. And I'm using the Mind's Eye Paper Stack, which is a school paper stack. So I thought I'd make one of each of my girls. Each year um, I make it a tradition to take a picture um, of each of them on their first day. And so each one gets a tag. And then on the back, I journal stamped it. So let me quickly show you how I did this. Um, I'm going to show you how to make one of them. And then you basically can just repeat the steps for the other remaining rolls. So here's um, a bathroom tissue roll. And also, you if you save your um, kitchen paper towel rolls, you could get two of them out of one roll. So I just basically sand it like so. Okay, just to, you know, kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I just get my brayer, and if you want it to be um, more flattened, um, put it in between like some heavy books overnight, and it should be pretty flat. I just quickly use my brayer. And the next thing I do is I'm using some Making Memories Espresso Paint. You can use any type of acrylic paint. It doesn't have to be this paint. I just like the color because it matched perfectly with the paper stack. So just go ahead and use a foam brush. And it dries fairly quickly. So you just paint over it like so. And it really only needs one coat. Um, if it's a dark color, then just one coat. Maybe a lighter color might need two coats. Okay, so I'm just going to cover one side, but you would normally cover the other side. And for the inside, um, she used design paper, but I just thought it would be easier if I just painted it. And then I just pr pretty much go halfway in. And when she showed that to me, I just thought it was just the most neatest thing, because I would have never thought to even make a mini book out of this and I really love the way it turns out it's a really cute idea and then just paint it on here okay so it's pretty much already drying okay so now that that's painted um, you're gonna get some design paper and this measures three and three quarters by two and a half I'm gonna go ahead and glue it and I just use the uh, tacky glue can use any kind of glue. Um, actually, I'm kind of running out on this glue here. Let me just do it really quickly here. Okay. And then you just kind of center it in the middle. Because I like some of the paint to show. Um, that's why I don't really cover it all the way. Or you don't even really have to use paint. You can just cover the whole thing with design paper or cardstock. It's up to you. And then I just get my brayer. I love my brayer. Um, it makes the glue settle in evenly. Okay, so you do like that. And then um, I just decorate it with some ribbon. This is um, three and three quarter inch ribbon. And I just use my glossy accent. I just put a little bit on the ribbon. Because these types of ribbon are really tricky to adhere. Um, I would normally have used my Xyron sticker maker, but I ran out, so I need to go get some. So I just place it like that. Okay. 
and the glue needs to settle in because the paper, the design paper has some glitter on it. And then I just add a flower, again using my glossy accent. Actually, let me do it on this side. And then add a, some bling on there. And then I'm just going to cut a piece of the school bus, which came with the design paper. I love cutting out images. Okay, and then I just add a dimensional. And here's a little tip. Um, on the dimensionals, you know, after time, I noticed with um, some of the things that I put dimensionals on, they tend to pop out. Um, so I just add a little glossy accent to it to secure it a little bit more. And then just put it like that. Okay. Now to make the inside, same measurement, three and three quarter by two and a half. And I back it up with some cardstock. Here I already pre-stamped the journaling. And so I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that together. I'm just going to line it up like that. Okay. And then this is a round tab from the Stampin' Up's Round Tab Punch. I love this punch. It's my favorite. And just add some adhesive on that. I'll just kind of center it. Okay, like so. And if you want to distress the edges, um, I'll use my favorite color, the peeled paint, using my distressing tool and just work around it. I would normally use my craft sheet, but I'm just going to quickly do it like this. Just give it some color. Okay. And before I add in the tag, um, my little tag here, I'm going to use um, the We Are um, Memory Keepers um, Extra Large Eyelet. And I'm just going to punch it right in the center, and I'm going to use my Papa Dial. And I'm using the 316 punch. Okay. And then just place my eyelet right there. And now I'm going to set the eyelet and it's set on A and 1. Okay. And now I can add my little tag. Kind of gets stuck sometimes. So you might want to make sure it's all cleared in here. And I think I might have pushed, I think I might have punched it too far in. So. Let me cut a little piece. So be sure when you set the eyelet that you measure it first because it, it will vary um, depending on the size of eyelet you use. So let me just quickly cut that. Okay, so this should fit now. I cut about a fourth of an inch off. Okay, maybe I should have cut a little bit more. Hang on. Okay, hopefully this works. Okay, much better. So there you have it. Just go ahead and do a couple of more of these and you got yourself a mini book. Thanks for watching. Bye.